Tony, you think they're gonna dance? Forget about it! Welcome in to a Tits Beer Bong 420 Beer Review slash re-review. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Mocha Porter from Lake of Bays. Lake of Bays is in Baysville, Ontario. And apparently, and the coffee being used in the Mocha Porter is Diesel House Roasters Coffee. Apparently, that's in like Bryce Bridge, Ontario, like the Muskoka up north area. So the beer's been around for, this is probably like the fifth year now. I had it like three, four years ago. And I'm pretty sure back then they just called it Mocha Porter. And I can't remember how strong the coffee or the mocha chocolate area thing would have been from it. But at 5.2%, it was probably thinner and water. And had probably had like watery taste to it. Can't recall all these years later. But why am I looking at it again, folks? Because these days they call it Old North Mocha Porter. And they've changed the recipe a little bit. It's now 8% alcohol. So let's see what it's like with a different alcohol content. Best enjoyed with a hearty meal and nip in the air. This porter delivers its rich character from roasted barley, chocolate malts, and locally roasted coffee. Bold and robust. Old North Mocha Porter is a faithful expression of the interpret frontier spirit in partnership with Diesel House Coffee Roasters. Water, malted barley, hops, and coffee. So, three to four years ago, drank it. It was like 5.2%. Second time now. And it's now 8%. Cheers. And just LB on red, red and black cap. Did that again. Come on, get on the cap. Open it. It's not even clucking and hitting. What the heck? Come on. Beer, 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 beer. Well, I'm starting to smell it, folks, from the bottle in my hand. Oh yeah, it's starting to show a smell. Camera keeps kind of falling. Okay, from the bottle, it's filled to about there, I guess, about that much not filled. Mm, I guess kind of sour smelling a little, dare I say. That might be some sort of a sour smell. Some chocolate smell and some roasted coffee smell. Beer, beer, beer. So, the second time with Lake of Bay's Mocha Porter. This time, Old North Mocha Porter. And this version's 8%. Bottle's a little heavy to hold here, folks. It feels like, you know, some bottles just feel kind of a little heavy to hold. Some don't. Heads popping up. Your typical cola porter head. Yep, I'm seeing it jet black. And if I really get closer to look at it, that's how I see the carbonation. Because it looks like those really small carbonations just going up. Some slow, some fast. More to light. Um, it looks kind of at the very, very bottom underneath the glass. Like it might be a bit red or brown. It looks like it's a little brown to light, I guess. But the way it's more black looking. Um, wow. I can smell chocolate. 
and I can smell the coffee in there. But before I get to that, I don't know, there's like another smell there. But it kind of smells like maybe a little bit of like a hop spice, some roasted coffee-ness and some chocolate. And the chocolate comes just before the coffee. It was 5.2 all those years back when I had it, now it's 8%. How does it taste? Let's find out. You know what? I'm disappointed on that first sip. I'll give you that because it's it's too thin and watery to beat eight percent. How the fuck is that eight percent? Shouldn't eight percent have a thicker, heavier body? Cause I'm sorry for eight percent. It's not like like water, water, water. But taking it in, it seemed a bit watery and just too thin. It seemed like I could. Take since the bottle is 750 milliliters, which is like 25 ounces. If I really wanted to, I could easily gulp some of that down really quickly, start getting buzz and full, and take my time with the rest. But like, mm hmm. As I'm taking it in, it seems all water. It seems like I'm just taking in like water but not in the same sense as tap water and then after i drink it all that thinness and water taste kind of go away and it starts to build up a little thicker and a little heavier and you can taste some chocolate and you can taste some coffee and then i guess like a hop resinness a bit or something and a little, what I think is like a little sour tint. But I mean, drinking it, if you don't know the percentage. I don't think you would think 8%, the way it starts off. In the end, you might think maybe like 6 to 7.5, but it's 8%. You can taste some coffee, you can taste some chocolate. It's not earth shattering, like holy shit. Um... Some of the best porters I've ever had, freaking Renaissance um, 6% porter that they do from New Zealand, Mill Street's Vanilla Porter, and their coffee porter that has the Balzac coffee in it. But a lot of porters for me are just kind of okay for to try, you know? Uh, I'm going to say it went better. I don't remember offhand because it's been so long. But I'm going to say it went better with the higher alcohol content. Like it finishes better, but the way it starts off, it's like it's 4% or less. So a very watery, thin start that builds up inside a little heavier. You get some sort of a chocolate taste, some sort of a roasted taste, some sort of like a hot bitter taste. It's okay in the end, but it's not earth shattering. And the start is where it seems a little failish, but it's fine. At least it's not one of the loggers. I've rambled on long enough, peace out.